Hey, hello guys. This is Srinivas from Merit Pros. Today I am going to explain you about continuous testing, its definition, benefits and tools. Quickly I will start with my context. So today we are going to cover what is continuous testing, why we need continuous testing, the tools involved for web application continuous testing, how continuous testing is benefited to DevOps. So to my first question, what is continuous testing? So continuous testing is a software testing type in which the product is evaluated early, often and throughout the entire continuous delivery process. By this definition, what I can say is like, by continuous testing, the product is going to be test early, often and throughout continuous delivery process. Here, the product may be a web application or API or whatever it may be. So by considering our modern testing approach, continuous testing is going to become a number one position in our market. Yeah. So guys, if you didn't subscribe our channel yet, so please click on subscribe button to get more updates from our channel. Yeah. Okay guys. Quickly I will move on to my next question. Why we need continuous testing? So before getting solution for this question, first I would like to explain you the current software developing methodologies. So uh, coming to traditional methodology, here the developing process will focus very less time on unit testing, which means rather than end to end and integration testing. So which results uh, doing an heavy manual testing which affects on our cost and time consumption. Whereas in Agile, the developing process will focus mostly on unit testing, which means splitting our requirement into different modules and doing developing and testing on that by using sprint and release features. So whereas in DevOps, the developing process is as same as Agile, but there will be a slight difference in Agile and DevOps, that is operation, which means monitoring our deployed code. When coming to Agile methodology, there is no existence of operation of our code. Whereas in DevOps, we are going to monitor our code by using the feature continuous integration and continuous deployment. So to do those, we need continuous testing. Yeah. So what continuous testing will do? It will try to build our uh, code and then it will test that code by using some testing tools and then it will try to deploy that code into respect to server either in QA or prod or UAT yeah so the tools that are involved for web application continuous testing so here to build our code we are using maven whereas for testing our code we will use selenium with java as well as testng for annotation based execution and for releasing and deploying we will use jenkins so coming to maven so maven is a brilliant tool which helps to build our code and manage our project structure, dependencies and test cases. So here, by using Maven tool, we are going to build our developer code and then we are, by using Maven, we have additional feature like managing our project structure, like uh, where we need to keep our source files, where we need to pro, uh, put our test files, as well as by using Maven, we are going to achieve dependency management also. Here, when the particular code is depending on any jar files, those particular dependencies, if we add on pom.xml file, so my pom.xml file automatically downloads those required dependencies with specified version and it will store that in .m2 folder and it will use whenever we require. Based on that only, we had like some specified test case folder also to store our test, test cases. Coming to testing phase, here to automate a web application, we are using Selenium with Java so that Selenium is the major tool for testing a web application automatically. But it has its own limitation like managing these test cases and generating a report. Here by using Selenium, uh, we don't have any feature like generating a default report. Hence to achieve this, we are integrating our Selenium with certain tools like Maven testng and jenkins so testng so testng is basically helps us to do unit testing with the help of annotations we had certain annotations and based on that annotations our test execution will flow yeah so uh, and also testng will overcome the limitations that are occur from selenium web driver like test management and report generation yeah coming to our last phase like releasing and deploying into the particular server so for this we are using jenkins so Jenkins is the tool which is responsible for continuous testing. 
so what it will do so it will schedule the particular builds and it will deploy the code into respective server so the finally i can say like how continuous testing is benefited to devops now we came to know like what continuous testing will do and what devops will do so that in order to operate or monitor our particular deployed code we need continuous testing so by adding this continuous testing to our develop feature we can achieve this infinite loop yeah yeah so that's all guys hope i i have covered all the questions which i have mentioned in uh, starting of this video yeah okay uh, guys if you still didn't uh, subscribe our channel please click on subscri subscribe button and so that uh, if you like this video please click on like button so that it will encourage us to do a lot of videos thank you guys